welcome to my review of Captain America Civil War. Now, sorry if this review is so late, t so late, but don't worry. I promised that I would make this review, and now I'm doing it. Now, spoiler alert: this does contain spoilers, so if you haven't, so I'm guessing everyone has seen the movie, so you can watch this video if you want to. But I'll be posting my other video later today. But let's get with the review. Now, as you know, it does. It does start off with Bucky Barnes, a.k.a. the Winter Soldier, like on the past, like when he killed Iron Man's parents, and that does show, and Iron Man does find out later in the movie, but I'm going to talk about that, like, later in this video. But then later, it starts off with, it then, it starts with present day, like, where Scarlet Witch, Sam, Steve, and Natasha are fighting Crossbones and his, and his, and his soldiers, and then apparently... <laughs> Steve apparently defeats Crossbones, but then later Crossbones talks to him about Bucky, and then later Crossbones like has a bomb, but then Scarlet Witch just like whips him, but then later he explodes and and a ton of people die from the building, and yeah. But then later it shows Iron Man when he was young, like when his parents left right before his parents died, and yeah, apparently. <laughs> It did. It would have been cool if we saw Pepper, because we haven't seen her in a long time. It did show, like, saying Pepper, but then later, Tony just said lies. But then later, Tony call, calls General Ross, yes, the one from The Incredible Hulk, talking about, like, something to do, like, either you do this or the Avengers will retire, like, something like that. And then the whole Avengers has a talk, and then later, uh, Steve and Sam head to Margaret Peggy, Peggy Carter's funeral. Also, it, uh, General Ross did show, like, the, sh the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier, like, getting destroyed and a ton of other things getting destroyed. Yeah. And then, apparently, <laughs> Natasha meets with Black Panther. And then later, but then later, there's, like, some explosion, like, kaboom, and Black Panther's father dies. And apparently, it shows, like, a footage of Winter Soldier, and so people think when Bucky did it, but then later, it turns out that he actually didn't do it. And, oh my god, Steve finds Bucky, but then later, Bucky runs, and then Black Panther in his outfit fights him. And then, they just go on a motorcycle chase, but then, the, oh yeah, War Machine captures him, and the police does too. And then they and then they get sent to somewhere, but only Bucky Barnes is like locked up, but the others are like kind of free. And so that's when we get to see Agent Thirteen. Now I didn't know who this person was until I saw the movie, and until I found out about like Funko Pop and Legos, like that kind. Yeah. <laughs> but then Bucky escapes, and oh my God! Well. Like, the Avengers fight him, like, Iron Man uses this thing, and it just shoots, like, him, but it doesn't even kill him or anything, and then Agent 13 and Natasha and Black Panther and Steve start fighting him, and, and Sam, I think, believe, too, as well, yeah, but then, like, oh my god, Bucky tries to escape in a helicopter, but Steve was able to save him, but then, later, they fall in the water, but Steve saves them, like, from drowning and dying, and so they, like, Bucky talks about, like, from the past, like, when he killed Iron Man's parents and all of that stuff. And then later, Iron Man meets Spider-Man. That's right, the new Tom Holland. That's the new Spider-Man. Peter, we got to see him as Peter Parker. And I gotta say, I don't, like, <laughs> I don't know if my haircut looks like his, but I don't think it looks like his. I don't know. Maybe. But apparently, I love this new Spider-Man. Yeah, to yeah. Tony finds out that Peter that Peter Parker's Spider-Man. Oh my God! But then later, um, Hawkeye comes back and just takes Scarlet Witch with him. But then later, um, Vision says that Scarlet Witch is not allowed to leave due to that incident from when Crossbones, uh, like exp like explosion killed a ton of people, and because of Scarlet Witch. But then, the team just, like, recruits Ant-Man, Scott Lang. That's right. Ant-Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then they just suit up. But then later, I Team Iron Man appears, and Spider-Man appears with his outfit. And then just takes Captain America's shield. Oh, my God. And then later, just Ant-Man appears out of nowhere. 
And then, like, cool, it just gives Ka Steve his shield back. And then Team Captain America and Team Iron Man start fighting, like, <laughs> And I like what Black Panther said, like, I don't care. Like, he says that. I like how he said it. That's what I like. And Ant-Man does turn into Giant Man. And then later, Spider-Man is like, oh, <laughs> oh, shocked. Like, holy shit. Like, that's what he says. <laughs> yeah, and I did record that, so I am going to put these clips on Instagram since I recorded them. I did see the movie twice in feeders. Now, there is a way to watch it online, but I wouldn't want to do that since it's kind of... I don't know if it's kind of copyright or anything. But then later, Bucky and St and Steve do escape. Oh, and War Machine gets defeated. Accidentally, like, gets to... Like, Vision accidentally shoots, uses, like, his thing and it accidentally hits... War Machine instead of Falcon. And then later, King Captain America is locked up. But then, hmm, Iron Man finds out where Bucky and Steve are, and then Black Panther just follows them. But then Black Panther finds out that Bucky didn't kill his father. And then later, oh my god, it starts cool. Like, they just start fighting, like, <laughs> and guess what? Like, Bucky's ar uh, metal arm blows off. And then later, hmm, Steve defeats Iron Man. And then Stan Lee does appear. Oh my god. And then Steve sends a letter and just frees Team Captain America. And now I'm going to review the post credit scenes. Apparently, the first one did show, like, um, Bucky getting frozen. And then it just, it then it showed, like, a Black Panther. Yeah, I know. And then the second one showed Spider-Man. That's right. Yeah, I did. There were two post credit scenes. So if you didn't know about a second one... You, if it's still in feeders, you should watch it again, because there's a second post credit scene. That is about it. So, I hope you like the movie. Yeah, it's a cool movie, and I'm excited for Avengers Infinity War next in 2018 and 2019. Goodbye, everyone.